Now we go to the five transporting points, actions from the classics, part three. According to the chapter four of the spiritual axis, this gives other guidelines concerning the use of five transporting points, some of which are in contradiction with other chapters of the same book. It says in chapter four, the divergent branches of the Yang channel reach into the interior and connects with the young organs. The spring and stream points together treat channel problems. The C points treat organ problems. It then goes on to the list, the C points of the young channels, listing only the lower C points for the young channels of the arm, large intestine, small intestine, and triple burner. That is stomach 37, stomach 39, and bladder 39. The spring and stream points of the young channels are frequently used in the treatment of painful obstruction syndrome. The B syndrome as the stream points is a point of concentration of defensive chi and the spring point is a powerful point which can be used to move the chi of the channel and to expel pathogenic factors, in particular heat. The use of young C points is in agreement with the use of these points according to the classic of difficulties and to chapter 44 of the spiritual axis itself. That is to treat problems of the young organ themselves. This method is frequently applied in clinical practice and examples had been given above. So chapter four of the spiritual axis, we have spring and stream points of young channel together for channel problems and the C lower points for internal young organ problems. Uh, chapter six of the spiritual axis gives yet different recommendation for the clinical use of the five transporting points. It says, in the interior, there are five yin and six yang organs. In the exterior, there are bones, sinews, and skin. Both in the interior and exterior, there is yin and yang. Within the interior, the five yin organs pertain to yin, and the six young organs pertain to young. Within the exterior sinews and bones pertain to yin and the skin pertains to yang. For diseases of the yin within yin, that is yin organ, use the spring and stream points of the yin channel together. For diseases of the yang within, the, within yang, that is the skin, Use the C points of the yang channels. For diseases of the yin within yang, like that is the sinews and bones, use the river points of the yin channel. For diseases of the yang within yin, the yang organs use the connecting points. So we have here yang within yang, which is the skin, the C points of yang channels. Yin within yang, the sinews and bones, river points of the yin channel. Yang within yin, which is the yang organs, uh, we use the connecting points. Yin within yin, which is the yin organ, we use the spring and stream points of the yin channels. So these are the use of the five transporting points according to chapter six of the spirit of the spiritual axis. Yin within yin, we use the yin organ. So use spring and stream points of the yin channel in combination. That is liver 2 and liver 3. For the yang within yang, which is the skin, we use the C points of the yang channel. Uh, like, for example, the large intestine 11. Yin within yang, which is the sinews and bones, we use the river points of the yin channel. Uh, example is the spleen 5 and the yang within yin, which is the yang organ, we use the connecting loop points of the yang channels. These recommendations are only partially applied in clinical practice. 
The spring and steam points are frequently used together to clear heat from the yin organs. Sometimes the spring point can be reduced to clear heat and the stream point to tonified to nourish the yin of the channel. A good example is the use of liver 2, reduced to clear liver fire, and liver 3, reinforced to no nourish liver yin. This technique can be used to nourish liver yin and subdue liver yang in headaches or to nourish liver yin and clear liver fire in urinary diseases caused by liver fire and bladder heat. The C point of the young channel, especially the upper C points, such as large intestine 11, small intestine 8, triple burner 10, are frequently used to treat the skin. That is released the exterior in invasion of its exterior pathogenic factors. In particular, uh, large intestine 11 and triple burner 10 are used to release the exterior and expel wind heat. LI11 is an important point for skin diseases as it pulls blood. The following are examples of indication of these points for skin diseases. LI11, erysipelas, urticaria, dry scaly skin, itchiness, herpes zoster. Bladder 40, <laughs> bladder 40 for source, erysip erysipelas, eczema, urticaria, and triple burner 10 for urticaria. The river points of the yin channels are frequently used to treat problems of sinews and bones in painful obstruction syndrome. This is also because the chi at this point is diverted to sinews, bones, and joints. The following are examples of indications related to joint and sinews problems in river points of the yin channels. Spleen 5 for pain and contraction of sinews, bone painful obstruction syndrome, which is the B syndrome, feeling of heaviness with joint ache. Heart 4, first spasm, kidney 7, atrophy of the legs. Liver 4, uh, contracted sinews, lumbar pain. Of course, the liver points of the young channel also treat joints, sinews problems, and the chief example among them is the stomach 41. The rule of using the connecting points to treat the problems of the young organ is not widely followed as the lower C points would be preferred in this case. Chapter 6 of the Spiritual Axis, in summary, the spring and string points of yin channel together is for yin organ problems. River points of the yin channels is for sinews and bones. C points of the young channel is for the skin problems. Connecting loop points of the young channels is for young organs. Thank you for your attention. We continue with the relationship of the source points to Sanjiao. Obviously, the brain is another area of increased circulation and communication that classical theory tends to underemphasize. It is quite possible that modern research will reveal that the way information is processed in the brain is influenced more profoundly than previously expected by changes in connective tissues and the fluids associated with them. This would involve an acknowledgement that there is a kind of intelligence in the body itself that is in constant interplay with the brain. While modern physiologists often correctly point out that classical Chinese physiology tends to underemphasize the role of the brain, there may very well be a similar lack of appreciation on the part of physiologists of the importance of the non-organ tissues in regulating metabolism and consciousness. The experience of Chinese medicine would seem to point in this direction. Careful observation thus reveal inconsistencies in certain aspects of the theory outlined. For example, why are the source points of the liver, spleen, large intestine, and bladder not located on the ankle and wrist joints? Once again, the answer lies in considerations of form and function. The areas around the large toes, 
thumbs and lateral surfaces of the foot use a relatively greater amount of chi and blood than the proximal areas on those channels near the ankles and wrist. In other words, because the joints around liver three, spleen three, LI4 and bladder 64 use more chi and blood than the areas on those same channels near the wrist and ankles, the source points have migrated. As evolution may have changed the structure of the human body, so has the movement of chi and blood changed over time. The important thing to remember here is that clinical efficacy guides theory. If the theories cannot provide appreciable benefits in treatment, they should be reconsidered. The use of these points in the clinic over time indicates that they have the ability to stimulate source chi on their respective channels. Observation of the importance of the large toes, thumbs, and lateral surfaces of the feet in walking and grasping is one way that this clinically relevant theory might be conceptualized. So here we have the figure showing us the four source points, which are away from the wrist and ankle joints in areas that are more distal on the channel where mobility is even greater. In the clinic, the source points are used almost exclusively for tonification. They have the ability to augment the chi and warm the yang. This is particularly true of the yin channels. In the clinic, the source points of the yang channels have less of a strictly tonifying effect on the respective organs. Instead, the source points of these channels strengthen by virtue of their ability to unblock circulation and increase movement. Some yang source points are more useful than others. For example, stomach 42 is sometimes more difficult to use because needling the point often causes pain. Triple burner 4 has a broader application that might be suspected. This point is used very often in some traditions of Japanese acupuncture, particularly the school of Sawada Ken, who advocated the use of moxa on TB4 and CB12 for severe deficiency. In the clinic, triple burner 4 is in fact effective in the treatment of Yang deficiency patterns, including tinnitus and cold type shoulder and upper back pain. This is because as the source point of the triple burner channel, the point has a particularly strong stimulating effect on the circulation of Yang. By considering the nature of the source points, one can begin to answer the question of why certain source points seem to have such a wide variety of apparently contrasting clinical applications. For example, while it is relatively easy to understand how a point like lung 9 is indicated for lung chi deficiency, it is more difficult to appreciate the mechanism underlying its ability to also tonify yin. Thus, while the point is uh, often used in cases of chronic weakness to treat lung chi deficiency, it is also helpful in relatively acute cases of dry throat or dry cough. The ability of lung 9 to both tonify chi and benefit in is best appreciated by thinking of the chi dynamic of the lung organ. There, the metabolism of the tie-in system was characterized as fundamentally involving the metabolism of dampness and the generation of nutrition. In particular, the lung organ provides chi from the external environment to facilitate the transformation of dampness and to invigorate the nutritive aspect of blood produced by the spleen. The ability of the lung to benefit in arises from its capacity to work synergistically with the spleen to produce the in nourishing nutritive aspect of blood. By strengthening lung chi with the source point of the channel, a physiological chain reaction is initiated, which has an indirect ability to benefit in. The dynamic functions of the other source points should be considered in a similar light. For example, the source point of the kidney channel, kidney three, enriches kidney yin and invigorates original yin. 
the best way to fathom the precise meaning of these traditional functions is to consider the qi dynamic of not just the kidney, but also of the Shaoyan channel as a whole. This channel is a pivot between the depth of blood storage at Jue Yin and the outward opening of Tai Yin. The movement of the Shaoyin pivot provides a stimulus of original yin and original yang to the body. By stimulating a point like kidney 3, one is not actually generating new prenatal qi in the body. Rather, the source point on the kidney, Shaoyin channel, is used for regulating vital prenatal substances. This means that it is enriching the yin and invigorating the yang by optimizing their metabolism. Thus, kidney three can strengthen the kidneys only insofar as it helps to reestablish healthy flow of channel qi to the organ, thereby normalizing its qi dynamic. In this way, the ineffable fine-tuning of understanding that must come from considering the unique qi dynamic of each channel when evaluating the effects of its points begins to take form. The powerful ability of source points to benefit the organs might then be summarized as arising from the ability of source qi to jumpstart the normal metabolism of the organs themselves. This is also why source points must be used in cases of deficiency. When the qi dynamic of the organs becomes so compromised that normal metabolism is impossible, it may be difficult to obtain qi at other points on the channel. It is sometimes therefore necessary to first build metabolism with the source points before going on to regulate the qi dynamic with other points. Thank you for your attention. Let's continue our discussion on the loo connecting points. Uh, today we discuss about the use of loo points according to their energetic influence. The use of the connecting points to affect the superficial areas of a channel in the tendomuscular problems. This is probably the most important use of the connecting channels and points. Each channel has a connecting area that is like a network of small channels in the superficial part of the body between the main channel and the skin along the pathway of the whole channel. Uh, we can see this in figure 51.4 and 51.5 later. The pathology of this area and therefore of the connecting channels consists primarily of invasion of the external pathogenic factors causing tendonomuscular problems. Therefore, the connecting points are extremely important to affect the superficial areas of the channel, and particularly the joints, sinews, muscles, and skin in tendonomuscular problems. So here we have um, the table for the superficial loo channel. It's the outermost layer. It corresponds with the Chowli or Wei level. And then beneath that, we have the loo channel corresponding to the Wei level. And uh, after that, the main channel corresponding to the Qi level and the deep blue channel corresponding to the blood level. Uh, here we have another illustration showing uh, the different levels from the superficial to the deep blue for the both yin and yang. So the loo channel is between the main channel and the superficial loo channel. Okay. So, for example, in case of tendinitis of the elbow along the large intestine channel, the connecting point LI6 will affect the connecting channel area, that is the sinews and muscles situated in the main channels and the skin, which is where the pathology of tendinitis is situated. When they are used for channel problems, 
the connecting points are sometimes chosen on the opposite side to where the problem is, on the same channel in acute cases, and on the interiorly, exteriorly related channel. For example, if there is an acute pain in the right shoulder along the large intestine channel, and, and some local points on the large intestine are used on the right side, LI6 can be added on the left side to reinforce the treatment. In a chronic case, lung 7 would also be used on the left side. Um, the use of connecting points to treat stagnation. The connecting channels and therefore points are not used only for superficial tendonomascular problems. As discussed earlier, the connecting channels occupy the area between the main channel and the skin. They are horizontally forming a network of small channels and they cannot penetrate through the large joint as the main channels do. This means that the connecting channels in this area are very prone to stagnation of chi and stasis of blood. Indeed, it could be said that most stagnation symptoms in the body occur in the connecting channels area. For example, breast distension from chi stagnation in women occurs in the connecting channels of the area of the breast. A myoma or a fibroid in the uterus is due to blood stasis in the blood connecting channels of the uterus. A feeling of lump in the throat is due to chi stagnation in the connecting channels of the throat and so on. Therefore, the connecting points have a very important use in moving chi and blood in the channels when these are affected by chi stagnation or blood stasis. Thank you for your attention. Now we go to the back transporting points, the bladder 14, uh, Joey and Shu. To locate the point, the bladder 14, uh, this one is 1.5 June lateral to the posterior midline on the level of the lower border of the spinous process of the fourth thoracic vertebra, that is the T4. So as illustrated, uh, we check the uh, picture. First, uh, we need to locate the spinous process of C7. From there, count down for spinous process to the lower border of the spinous process of T4. Measure 1.5 June lateral to locate bladder 14 on the highest point of the paraspinal musculature. Or with the patient seated and their arms hanging down, the spinous process of T3 is generally on the level of the medial end of the scapular spine. The next spinous process in an inferior direction belongs to the T4. Locate bladder 14, 1.5 June lateral to the midline. Located on the same level are a point of uh, extra point EXB B2, which is 0.5 June lateral to the midline and bladder 43, 3 June lateral to the midline. For needling, uh, we use uh, 0.5 to 1 June obliquely towards the spine or transversely, subcutaneously. Uh, we need to have a caution, the cautious are for the pneumothorax. For actions and indications, uh, Bladder 14 regulates and tonifies the heart and binds the chest, regulates the chi, calms the shen. For special features, bladder 14 is the back shoe point of the pericardium. Bladder 14 is frequently used in the heart conditions such as arrhythmia, <clears throat> tachycardia, angina pectoris, and coronary heart disease. In particular, it has a pronounced effect on the chest and in relieving pain. The explanation of the acupuncture point says, when the heart is not settled, the pericardium channel is affected and there is chest pain. Bladder 14 should be reduced. 
The chest is the residence of the heart, lungs, and pericardium. This point is uh, also strongly moves G and invigorates blood. The same text says when there is accumulation of G, when there's accumulation, and it stagnates, causing stasis of blood. The pericardium controls blood and draining. Uh, this point will eliminate the stagnation and the mental restlessness. Bladder 14 is an exemption among the back shoe points in that all the others are named after the respective sang fu. Respective sang fu. Sang or fu. The fact that bladder 14 is named after the joyin, the pericardium and liver channel, emphasis its ability to unbind the chest by invigorating the circulation of qi. When liver qi stagnates, usually as a result of emotional factors, it frequently binds the qi of the upper jaw, giving rise to symptoms such as pain and oppression of the heart, chest, and diaphragm, restlessness, agitation, and oppression. As the bakshu point of the pericardium, Bladder 14 is not exclusively reserved for chest and heart disorders due to qi stagnation, but in combination with bladder 15 is widely used to regulate the heart in many kinds of dysfunction. The descending function of both the stomach and lung is assess assisted by the stomach and obstructed movement of liver qi. Smooth. When liver chi stagnates and impairs their descent, there may be calf and vomiting respectively. Heart pain, uh, bladder 14, heart 7, and GB41. Thank you for your attention. We discuss front collecting points, particularly gallbladder 24, sun and moon. Location of GB24 is in the seventh intercostal space on the mammillary line, fourth soon lateral to the anterior midline. The mammillary line, a vertical line fourth soon lateral to the midline, is used for reference in the thoracic region. Let's talk about the quick method, especially in men. In men, the nipple is usually located on the level of the fourth intercostal space. From the nipple, count downward to the seventh intercostal space. Or a more reliable reference, especially in women, is the manubrio sternal synchondrosis, a horizontal bony structure on the sternum. The costal cartilage of the second rib is lateral to the synchondrosis with the second intercostal space below. From there, count downward to the seventh intercostal space and locate GB24 on the mammillary line. Liver 14 is located directly superior to GB24 in the sixth intercostal space. Located approximately on the same level, one soon inferior to the sternocostal angle, are REN13, kidney 20, and stomach 20. Needling, 0.3 to 0.8 soon, obliquely in the lateral direction along the intercostal space. Then we have to be cautious about the possibility of pneumothorax. Actions or indications, benefits the gallbladder, eliminates damp heat, regulates and spreads liver chi, descends counterflow chi, harmonizes the middle burner. Special features, GB24 is front mu point of the gallbladder, meeting point with the spleen channel, also with the Yang Wei Mai, according to some authors. GB24 is the major point for disorders of the gallbladder. GB24 is an important point to resolve damp heat affecting the gallbladder and liver, manifesting with such symptoms and signs as jaundice, hypochondrial pain, a feeling of heaviness, nausea, and a sticky yellow tongue coating. 
In severe cases, it gives rise to the formation of gallstones. To resolve damp heat, GB24 is often combined with GB34 and LI11. It also promotes the free flow of liver chi and is commonly used in the treatment of hypochondrial pain and distension. To summarize, gallbladder 24 resolves damp heat manifested by hypochondrial fullness, bitter taste, feeling of heaviness, sticky taste, inability to digest fats. Moves liver chi, so this is very good for hypochondrial distension. Pain in the ribs, epigastric pain, abdominal distension. GB24 harmonizes the middle burner and subdues rebellious chi, like vomiting, acid regurgitation, hiccup, bulging. According to the essential questions, the gallbladder is the upright official from where judgment emanates. When the characters for sun and moon are combined, they form a new character, Ming, which means clear, intelligent, or to understand. Ming describes the quality of judgment emanating from a healthy gallbladder. GB24 has traditionally been ascribed the ability to rectify deficiency patterns of the gallbladder and was indicated as early as the essential questions with bladder 19 for the treatment of gallbladder deficiency, giving rise to indecisiveness and elsewhere for sighing with a tendency to sadness. GB24 was established as the front view point of the gallbladder by the time of the Yellow Emperor's Inner Classic. Although many centuries later, the great compendium of acupuncture and moxibustion designated Shi Chin GB23 as the gallbladder front view point. It is GB24 which has retained this status to the present day. The term Mu means to gather or to collect, and the front view points are where the chi of the Zhang Fu gathers and concentrates on the anterior surface of the body. GB24 is an important point to treat diseases of the gallbladder, uh, for which may uh, derive from the following uh, three etiologies. Emotional disharmony results in stagnation of liver chi, which impairs the circulation of chi in its interiorly exteriorly related gallbladder channel and gives rise to the stension fullness and pain of the lateral costal region, sighing and a sensation of heat in the lower abdomen. Number two, disharmony of the stomach and spleen transportation and transformation function leads to accumulation of dampness, which transforms to damp heat and ferments in the liver and gallbladder. Bile does not flow and seeps into the muscles and skin, giving rise to jaundice. Number three, Gallbladder chi invades the stomach and interferes with its descending function, resulting in vomiting, acid regurgitation, hiccup, and epigastric pain. All these three patterns may be encountered in diseases such as cholecystitis, cholelithiasis, and hepatitis. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, uh, we continue our discussion on accumulation or the she points. Now let's talk about heart six, or the yin cleft or the yin chi. Heart six is located 0.5 tune proximal to the transverse wrist crease on the radial side of the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. So how do we find heart six? First, we have to locate the flexor carpal ulnaris muscle, which has a distinct tendon on the ventral aspect of the forearm that can be easily palpated ulnar and proximal to the wrist. Heart six is located on the radial aspect of the tendon, 0.5 soon proximal to heart seven, which is located on the joint space. Heart 5 and Heart 4 are located proximally on the same line at 0.5 tune interval. 
A needling heart six is done um, vertically 0.3 to one tune or obliquely in a proximal or distal direction. Um, we have to pay attention to this point uh, as the uh, ulnar artery yeah, or nerve. This is a painful, painful point. Uh, for its indication and actions, uh, heart six tonifies and regulates the heart pain and blood, clears empty heat in the heart, and calms the shun. For its special feature, it is the chic left point of the heart. This point is frequently used to nourish heart pain with symptoms of night sweating, dry mouth, insomnia, and others. In particular, in combination with kidney seven, it is the point of choice to stop night sweating from heart pain deficiency. It also clears heat and it also clears heart empty heat and is therefore useful for mental restlessness and the feeling of heat deriving from empty heat. As an accumulation point, it strongly moves chi and blood in the channel, it, and it can be used for blood stasis in the chest, causing a stabbing chest pain. Heart six also subdues rebellious chi, and it stops bleeding upward, caused, which is caused by rebellious chi, such as from nose or in vomit. So to summarize heart six functions, first, it invigorates heart blood, um, to resolve heart pain, stabbing pain in the chest, or fullness of chest and palpitations. It subdues rebellious chi, uh, which manifests as nosebleed and vomiting of blood. It nourishes heart yin and clears empty heat of the heart, manifesting as night sweating and steaming bones. It also stops sweating and calms the mind. Heart six is the chic left point of the heart channel. The chic left point are where the chi and blood, which flow relatively superficially along the channels from the jing wall points, gather and plunge more deeply. The chic left points in general are indicated in the treatment of acute conditions and pain, plus the chic left points of the yin channels have an additional action of treating disorders of blood. Heart 6 is indicated for heart pain due to blood stasis and bleeding disorders due to excessive heat agitating the blood. However, in terms of both these actions, uh, pericardium 4, the chic left point of the pericardium channel, is clinically more important. Acute severe pain from blood stasis, which threatens the survival of the heart zang, is therefore primarily treated by using points of the pericardium channel, the protector of the heart. This is reflected in the statement in the spiritual pivot. The heart is the great master of the five zang and six fu and the residence of the essence spirit. If the heart is injured, the spirit will depart. If the spirit departs, the person will die Therefore, the pathogenic chi that attacks the heart will be diverted to reside in the pericardium. The 40 of heart 6 lies in its ability to treat the yin fluids of the heart. According to the ode to elucidate mysteries, heart 6 will stop night sweating and treat steaming bone disorder in children. This underlines the primary application of heart six in clinical practice. According to essential readings from medical tradition, that which is stored by the heart internally is blood. Externally, it is emitted as sweat. Sweat is the fluid of the heart. Owing to this close relationship between the heart blood and sweating, the ability of the chic left point to harmonize the blood, heart six 
is an essential point in the treatment of night sweating due to deficiency of either yin or heart blood. Night is the time of maximum yin. And during sleep, when the body is covered and the more yang defensive chi is no longer needed to protect the surface, the defensive chi enters deep within the yin to be nourished. If yin is deficient, it cannot draw and hold the defensive chi inside and the defensive deficiency heat floats to the exterior and forces out fluids as sweat. Alternatively, when heart blood is deficient, the balance of chi and blood is distributed, ice disturbed, and the chi floats to the surface, causing night sweating characterized by less intense heat sensations than the yin deficiency pattern. Controlling night sweating is always a priority of treatment since the sweat emitted in this disorder, known in Chinese as rubbing sweat, contains yin nutrients and its loss further aggravates the deficiency. It should be noted that night sweating, although most often due to two patterns described previously, may also occur as a result of other patterns of disharmony, especially damp heat, spleen deficiency with retention of dampness, half interior, half exterior pathogen disorders, and disharmony of nutritive chi and defensive chi. Due to its important action in stopping night sweating, heart six may be used in any of these patterns in combination with appropriate points. Steaming bone disorder is a form of fever from yin deficiency. It is characterized by a sensation of heat deep within the bones radiating outwards to the skin and is accompanied by afternoon fever, restless sleep, and night sweating. It is a profound form of yin deficiency with raging heat and is usually seen in the context of serious disease. Heart 6 is one of the principal points used to treat this pattern. Finally, as the chic left point of the heart channel, heart 6 is able to soothe and calm the heart in acute situations and is indicated for acute fright with or without palpitations. It is also specifically indicated for counterflu inversion fright chi. This refers to loss of consciousness or inver an inversion pattern that arises when severe anger depresses the chi or fright and fear rapidly and violently descends the chi. Thank you very much for your attention. Now we go to the gathering points. GP34, the young mound spring. To locate the GB34, it is in the depression anterior and inferior to the head of the fibula between the peroneus longus and extensor digitorum longus muscle. So as illustrated in the picture. This point is best located with the patient's knee flexed, use knee support. Palpate for the head of the fibula on the lateral aspect of the leg and hold it with the index and middle finger in a tweezer-like way. Gliding distally with both fingers, the more medial finger will drop into a depression directly anterior and inferior to the head of the fibula. The location of GB30, that is the location of the GB34. Located on the same level, but on the medial aspect of the lower leg is spleen 9 at the junction of the shaft and the medial condyle of the tibia. For needling, uh, 1 to 1.5 June, vertical insertion between the tibia and fibula towards the interosseous membrane. Ocean for the deep peroneal nerve with deep needling, in some cases also common peroneal nerve. 
The needle may reach the interosseous membrane as well as the epineural tissue of the peroneal nerve. For actions and indication, bladder uh, GB34 benefits the tendons and joints, opens the channel, alleviates pain, benefits the lateral costal region, clears damp heat from the liver and gallbladder, spreads liver chi. For special features, GB34 is the HESI point, earth point, free meeting point of the tendons for coordination and movement. It is also the lower HESI point of the gallbladder, Madanyang Heavenly Star Point, major point for disorders of tendons and musculature. GP34 is one of the major points of the body. First of all, it is an extremely important point to promote the smooth flow of liver chi. It is used whenever there is stagnation of liver chi, especially in hypochondrial area. When combined with other points, it can also affect stagnation of liver chi in other areas, such as the epigastrium combined with REN12 or the lower abdomen combined with REN6. By regulating liver chi, it helps to make stomach chi descends and can be used for, for such symptoms of ascending stomach chi as nausea and vomiting. GB34 resolves damp heat in the liver and gallbladder usually combined with GB24. It is an important point to relax the sinews whenever there are contraction of the muscles, cramps, or spasm. As its indications show, it affects the sinews of all joints. GB34 is an important point in the treatment of painful obstruction syndrome atrophy syndrome, and sequelae of wind stroke to invigorate the circulation of chi and blood in the legs and relax the tendons. This action is partly due to its being the gathering point for sinews. For the summary of function, GB34 promotes the smooth flow of liver chi, hypochondrial, epigastric, and abdominal distension, irritability, moodiness, depression, and sighing. It also resolves damp heat in the liver and gallbladder uh, for the bitter taste, hypochondrial fullness, inability to digest fat, feeling heaviness. Also benefits the sinews like contracture of sinews, stiff neck, and shoulder pain in the elbow, hip pain, sciatica. It also removes obstruction from the channel like pain in the calf muscles, painful obstruction syndrome, like the B syndrome, and atrophy syndrome of the lower leg, swelling, pain, and redness of the knee, rigidity of the knee, cold painful obstruction syndrome of the knee. According to the essential questions, the knees are the residence of the sinews. When the knees are unable to flex and extend and walk, and walking is achieved with a hunchback and the help of a cane, then the sinews are exhausted. GB34 lo uh, located just inferior to the knee joint is the whole meeting point of the sinews and has long been considered the main point to influence these tissues. Throughout the body, uh, for example, the great compendium of acupuncture and moxibustion simply states for disease of the sinews, select GB34. The gallbladder is interiorly exteriorly related with the liver, which dominates and nourishes the sinews and GB34. The HESI point of the gallbladder channel is an essential point for contraction of the sinews and stiffness and tightness of the muscles and joints and most especially for disorders of the legs such as the knee, knee pain. Hip pain, sciatica, hemiplegia, atrophy disorder, and painful obstruction. The importance of GB34 in disorders of the lower leg as a whole is further emphasized by its inclusion in Madan Young's 11 heavenly star points. This grouping of the most vital 
acupuncture, acupuncture points. According to this great position of the Jin Dynasty, uh, GB34 has was indicated for swelling and numbness of the knee, old painful obstruction, hemiplegia, and inability to raise the leg. The action of GB34 is not confined to the lower limb. However, it may be used in the treatment of stiffness of the neck and shoulder and pain of the sinews in the elbow, like for example, tennis elbow. In summary, GB34 may be used for pain, cramping, contraction, stiffness, and sprain of the sinews and muscles in any part of the body. It is characteristic. It is a characteristic of the channel, especially the young channel that points located at the extremities tend to influence most strongly the extreme opposite end of the channel, that is the head region, while points located towards the elbow or G tend to have their strongest influence on the middle region of the body. GB34 clearly demonstrates this principle and is essential point to treat all disorders of the lateral costal region, whether due to stagnation of chi, stasis of blood, accumulation of damp heat, or deficiency of blood or yin. This is reflected in the unequivocal statement in the Song of Points for the Miscellaneous Disease, which says pain of the lateral costal region you only need GB34 and the odd of essentials of understanding which says when there is pain on the lateral costal region and of the ribs, needling GB34 will alleviate the pain promptly. The special affinity of GB34 for the lateral costal region reflects both the course of the gallbladder channel which traverses this area and its action of spreading liver chi and clearing liver and gallbladder damp heat, and thus treating two of the main pattern in distension and pain of this region. GP34 is the HESI point of the gallbladder channel. According to the spiritual pivot, HC point treat the internal poo. The primary disharmony of the gallbladder is accumulation of damp heat, which may arise from failure of the spleen, transportation, and transformation function leading to accumulation of either dampness or damp heat which obstruct the function of the liver and gallbladder. Also, overconsumption of rich, greasy food or alcohol and attack of external pathogenic damp heat or stagnation of liver chi which both obstructs the movement of fluids and transforms into heat giving rise to damp heat. Whenever the, etio the etiology, GB34, uh, can be used to manifesting with symptoms such as bitter taste in the mouth, nausea, vomiting, jaundice, cholecystitis, etc. Another reflection of the influence of, the, of GB34 on the full is its application in the treatment of constipation, particularly when due to chi stagnation or heat. According to both the spiritual pivot and the essential questions, Taiyang is the opening, Yang Min is the closing, and Xiaoyang is the pivot. In the differentiation of fevers expounded in the treatise of injury by code, the Xiaoyang level is the pivot between the interior and the exterior, and Xiaoyang pattern occurs when the pathogenic factor is trapped between these two levels. The characteristic symptoms of this half interior, half exterior pattern are distinct phases of fever alternating with chills, fever, uh, bitter taste in the mouth, pain on the local, on the lateral costal region, dryness of the mouth and throat nausea, and vomiting. GB34, the HESI point of the Fu Xiao Yang channel is one of the main points to treat this pattern and is therefore indicated for any disorder with this presentation, including malaria. According to achieving 
uh, longevity by guarding the source, the 7th century classic by Gang Tingxin, susceptibility to fright, timidity in which the patient fears being apprehended, all results from deficiency of qi of heart and gallbladder. GB34 is indicated for fear of people as if about to be apprehended and frequent sighing reflecting a pattern of gallbladder chi deficiency. Finally, the spiritual pivot says in disorders of the stomach and in disorders resulting from irregular eating and drinking, select the HSC point. GB34 is indicated in cases where qi stagnation generates phlegm and heat, which obstructs the stomach and impairs its descending function. This combined pattern of gallbladder and stomach disharmony manifests with such symptoms as bitter taste in the mouth, nausea, and vomiting. Thank you for your attention. We we'll discuss chronic fatigue syndrome a pattern called heat lurking in the interior. Clinical manifestations, muscle fatigue without ache or with only a slight ache, thirst, insomnia, cough with scanty yellow sputum, tiredness, breathlessness on exertion, loss of weight and dry throat. Tongue is red with a yellow coating, redder on the front part. Pulse rapid and slightly wiry. This condition appears for only a few months at the beginning of the development of chronic fatigue syndrome. After some months, it either gives rise to damp heat, excess pattern, or the heat injures yin, giving rise to yin deficiency, a deficiency pattern. However, even in the case of heat, there is always some dampness, which accounts for the slight ache in the muscles. The heat is primarily in the lungs, Hence, the cough with scanty yellow sputum and red color in the front part of the tongue and heart, hence the insomnia. This condition develops when interior heat is not cleared properly after an invasion of wind heat. It then lurks in the interior for a long time, giving rise to the previously mentioned symptoms. Treatment principle, clear interior heat, restore descending of lung chi. Points, do 14, triple burner 5, LI 11, lung 10, lung 5, spleen 6. All with reducing method except for spleen 6, which should be reinforced. Do 14 is the main point. It clears heat and especially heat, which has remained in the interior for a long time. Triple burner 5 and LI 11 clear heat. Lung 10 and uh, lung 5 clear lung heat. Spleen 6 nourishes yin, which will help to cool heat. Case history. A 47-year-old woman had been feeling extremely exhausted for the previous 10 years. She had had acupuncture for a long time, but this did not help her consistently. Her other symptoms included feeling of heaviness, feeling of heat, hot feet in bed at night, thirst, slight ache in the muscles, insomnia, and scanty dark urine. Pulse was full, slippery, rapid at 88 beats per minute and slightly moving. The moving pulse is short, rapid, vibrating, and shaped like a beam. Tongue was red and redder on the tip. This is considered to be a type of chronic fatigue syndrome due to residual heat concentrated mostly in the heart. Over the years, heat injures the body fluids and condenses them into dampness. For this re reason, the patient also had some damp heat, although not pronounced. There was only a slight ache of the muscles indicating dampness. Most of the other symptoms indicated heart heat, the insomnia, red tongue with redder tip, thirst, feeling of heat. The rapid pulse clearly showed heat. Its moving quality indicated shock and fear. On interrogation, it emerged that she had had a very troubled childhood, having been abused by her father. In this case, there were obviously deep emotional reasons underlying her condition besides the viral infections that are usually the cause of CFS. 
She had sought psychotherapeutic help over the years and was dealing with her past. Treatment principle, in spite of the long duration of the problem, on the basis of her pulse, the condition was still one of excess. The main principle of treatment adopted was therefore to clear heart heat and calm the mind. Only herbs were used. Thank you very much for your attention.